today topic of discussion is liver function test liver function test is also referred as hepatic panel hepatic panel test what is liver function test uh, liver function test are a group of blood test it is a group of blood test that measure the level of several substances including that um, enzyme and protein excreted by liver so it is a group of blood test this one will measure substances like enzyme and protein excreted by liver levels that are high or low then normal can indicate liver problem so that liver function test that level it may high or low it indicate liver problem several biochemical parameters are used for assessing liver function test five parameters mainly used so first one is bilirubin there are two type of bilirubin conjugated and unconjugated second one is allyl amino transferase third one is aspartate amino transferase fourth one is alkaline phosphate phosphatase then fifth one is gamma glutamyl transferase these are the five parameters used to assess liver functions what are the five important parameter bilirubin it have two types conjugated and unconjugated alanin amino transferase ald aspartate amino transferase ast alkaline phosphatase alp and gamma glutamyl transferase ggtp totally five parameters let's now see each of them one by one first one is bilirubin bilirubin is breakdown product of hemoglobin bilirubin is a breakdown product of hemoglobin when rbc complete their life life cycle life span rbc life span 120 days which is 120 days they are destroyed in the body and hemoglobin are released after 120 days rbc destroyed in the body and hemoglobin released this hemoglobin further break down into heme and globulin this heme component is converted into bilirubin bilirubin this bilirubin which further converted into bilirubin this bilirubin is unconjugated this bilirubin is the unconjugated one uh, this one is insoluble in water that bilirubin insoluble in water this unconjugated bilirubin is also called as indirect form which is insoluble in water so it bind with albumin and then transported to the liver when this bilirubin will bind with albumin then only it will transport to liver in this liver bilirubin is converted into conjugated form it is here it will converted into conjugated form which is water soluble and can be easily excreted through um, urine and feces so if there is increase in bilirubin level it indicate that something is wrong in your body particularly in liver the main causes of increased bilirubin level in blood are because of three reason bilirubin level increases first one is hemolysis breakdown of rbc second one is uh, failure of conjugated system of uh, liver failure of conjugated system of liver third one is obstruction in the 
bilary system obstruction in bilary system so bilirubin uh, that after 120 days rbc destroyed after destroyed hemoglobin released the hemoglobin further break down heme and globulin this heme is converted into bilirubin this bilirubin will converted into bilirubin this one is the unconjugated insoluble in water when it will combine with albumin then only it will transport to a liver now it is soluble in water conjugated form this one is excreted in uh, through urine and feces so if uh, there is increased level of bilirubin indicate something wrong in our body particularly liver this one uh, because of three reason it will increases first one is hemolysis second one is failure of conjugating system of liver third one is obstruction in the biliary system next biochemical parameter uh, a s t aspartate amino transferase this was previously called serum glutamate oxaloacetate transaminase serum glutamate oxaloacetate transaminase a s t are high in heart heart muscles liver and skeletal muscles ast high in heart liver and skeletal muscles low in kidney and pancreas and rbc low level in kidney pancreas and rbc damaged tissue released ast in blood so damaged tissue only releasing AST into blood. Therefore, AST level in blood is directly related to extent of cellular damage or injuries. So, damaged tissue only releasing AST to blood. So, uh, this one directly related to extent of cellular damage or injury. AST level is elevated eight hours after cell injury after cell injury after cell injury after eight hours it will elevated level peak at 24 to 38 hours return to normal in three to seven days ast level after cell injury uh, elevated after eight hours peak at 24 to 36 hours return to normal 3 to 7 days ast level increases in blood is always high in patient with chronic hepatocellular disease acute hepatitis cirrhosis acute extra hepatic obstruction so what are the condition that ast level increases number one chronic hepatocellular disease second one acute hepatitis third one is cirrhosis fourth one is acute extra hepatic obstruction next factors which interfere with the serum ast level what are the factors interfere with the serum ast level it include number one pregnancy in which there is degrees ast level second one is exercise which increase level of AST tracks uh, examples anti hypertensive and oral contraceptive tracks also associated with AST third test alanine amino transferase AST A ALD ALD is all previously called GTPT serum glutamate pyruvate transaminase ald alanine amino transferase previously called gtp team serum glutamate pyruvate transaminase alt mainly found in liver lesser quantities found in kidney heart and skeletal muscles high amount presented in liver 
less quantity in heart, kidney and skeletal muscles. Liver injury causes elevation of ALD level in blood. Liver injury that time only causes elevation of ALD alanine amino transferase level in blood. ALD is more liver sensitive or specific indicator of liver disease as compared to AST. It levels is directly related to extent of liver injury. Uh, and the raised level of ALT can uh, be seen in chronic alcoholism, hepatic cancer and chronic cirrhosis. What are the condition? It will increase that level chronic alcoholism, hepatic cancer and chronic cirrhosis. Fourth parameter ALP. Alanine phosphatase. Alanine phosphatase. It is primarily found in liver, bone, and placenta. Alanine phosphatase primarily presented in liver, bone, and placenta. Uh, this test has low specificity for liver disorder because there are other conditions that can also increase ALP level. There are, what are the conditions? Coleostatis, coleostatis that means obstruction of intra or extra, extra hepatic bile duct. Then pregnancy, bone disease, specifically uh, osteoplastic cancer and packet disease uh, and uh, newborn growth can also causes elevation in ALP. What are the condition it will increases? Um, coleostatis, obstruction of hepatic bile duct and uh, pregnancy, bone diseases like osteoplastic cancer and uh, uh, packet disease new bone growth can also elevation of alp level alanine phosphatase level last one is ggt gamma glutamyl transpeptase gamma glutamyl transpeptase this test is highly accurate indicating cholecystitis this one indicating highly it will give highly accurate result for cholecystitis it is most sensitive liver enzyme for reducting biliary obstruction colon agitis and cholecystitis so this one is the most sensitive liver enzyme for deducting biliary Biliary obstruction, colon gitis, cholecystitis. This comma glutamyl transpeptase is very high in liver but low in kidney, heart, intestine, brain, prostate gland. Low amount presented in kidney, heart, intestine, brain and prostate gland. Elevation of GGTP level parallel that of ALP in liver disease. But GGTP is not increased in bone disease. So if ALP is increased but GGTP level are normal that indicate bone disease. Thanks for watching.